electrical soldering may sound intimidating if you've never done it before, but it's not as bad as you may think. Some common things you may need to solder at some point in your life are electrical appliances or bad circuit boards. Here's how to make a strong solder connection. The tools required for this project are a soldering gun, wire strippers, and a heat gun. You will also need safety glasses, solder, latex gloves, tip tinner, helping hands clamp, damp sponge, rosin flux, heat shrink tube sleeves, and dielectric silicone paste. Before you start anything, put on your safety glasses. Strip one inch from both ends of the wires using a wire stripper tool. Make sure to not break strands from the wires you are stripping. Cut a new heat shrink tube sleeve with scissors so it's slightly longer than the open wires you'll be soldering together. Slide the sleeve over the metal wire until it is completely out of the way. Connect wires by spreading and intermeshing the wire ends together, then twisting until completely tight and no strands are sticking up. Place wires into a helping hands clamp and with latex gloves on, completely cover wires with rosin flux. Dampen a sponge with water, then heat up the soldering gun and wipe off the tip with the sponge. Tin the tip of the soldering gun with a soldering tip tinner to prevent oxidation. When the tip is bright and shiny, the tip is ready for soldering. Begin heating the wires by placing the solder gun underneath the wires. Apply solder above wire so the solder is fed to the top and not the bottom. Allow solder to completely coat over the exposed wires and remove the heat and solder. Let solder cool down without touching helping hands or wires. Clean off the soldering tip by wiping it against the damp sponge. Evenly apply dielectric silicone paste to the solder with a brush. Slide the heat shrink tube sleeve over the solder and begin heating the sleeve with a heat gun. Start at the center of the tube and work your way out slowly. Finish up by cleaning off excess dielectric paste. And that's how easy it is to solder a strong connection. For more videos, check out FamilyHandyMan.com.